Praise the Lord, Hallelujah. Blessed be the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ in this wonderful and blessed morning. Dear children of God, let us together on this year of 2023, on this month of July 5th, Wednesday morning, to worship our God, to praise our God, a Heavenly Father, for this wonderful opportunity. Let us thank Him. Hallelujah. Father, thank You. Thank You, Jesus. Thank You, Lord. Thank You, Father. Thank You. Last a full morning. Our Lord protected us. Let us lift our hand and thank Him. Father, thank You. Thank You, Jesus. Thank You, Lord. Thank You. Thank You, Father. Last night, for the good sleep He gave us and blessed us to sleep peacefully, He blessed us. Hallelujah. For His grace, tell Him, thank You, Father. Thank You. Thank You, Jesus. Thank You, Lord. Thank You. Amen. Hallelujah. This morning, with good health and happiness, He who woke us up, tell the Lord, thank You. Father, thank You. Thank You, Jesus. Thank You, Lord. Thank You. This morning, Father, your work for doing it through us, thank you. Your voice for echoing through us, thank you. The work of your hand for flowing through our hand, thank you. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus, for going before us, for being behind us. Thank you. For the good sleep you gave us last night, once again, we tell you thank you. For making us to wake up in good health, Father, thank you. Father, we worship you. Father, we praise you. For great is your mercy upon us. Great is your love towards us. Great is your compassion upon us. Father, miraculously for leading us. For your grace, we tell you thank you. In Psalms 149, verse number 1, 2, 3 and 4 says, Praise the Lord. Sing to the Lord a new song and his praise in the assembly of saints. Let Israel rejoice in their maker. Let the children of Zion be joyful in their king. Let them praise his name with the dance. Let them sing praises to him with the temporal and harp. For the Lord takes pleasure in his people. He will beautify the humble with salvation. Hallelujah. He will beautify the humble with salvation. Let us pray together. Dear Heavenly Father, our beloved Father, together in the name of Jesus Christ, we draw near to Thee. Father, we are looking unto Thy face. In Your word it is written, all who have looked unto Thy face, their face shone and were not put to shame. Father, this morning, together in the name of Jesus Christ, from different places at different times, we are looking unto Thy face. Abba Father, we worship You. Abba Father, we praise You. Abba Father, we thank You. Last full morning for protecting us, thank you. For the good sleep you gave us last night, thank you. With good health for waking us up, Father, thank you. This morning for victoriously leading us. Above for your grace, thank you. This morning, Father, we pray for all who are hearing this voice today. Father, we bless them in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we bless their family life. We bless their workplace. Father, the children you have given, bless them. Father, let their way of living be blessed. Let their body be blessed. Let their mind be filled with joy. Father, let their mind be filled with godly peace. O Father, we pray unto Thee. Abba, Father, this morning we pray for the sick. In the name of Jesus Christ, the mighty power of God that healeth your children, let it pour upon them. I am the Lord that healeth thee. It is written in the word. Father, this morning, godly healing, let it be upon every child of yours. Sickness, let it go out in the name of Jesus. The power of healing, let it enter into the body of your children. We command sickness to go out of the body. God's healing power, God's power, let it pour into your children from the tip of the head to the tip of the toe. Miraculous healing, we declare it upon them. Father, let your children arise with complete health. Let them health be strengthened, O oh Father. Especially those who are having a heart problem. In the name of Jesus Christ, be healed. In the name of Jesus Christ, let it be a perfect heart. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Those who have got a pain on the left hand, be healed right now. Complete healing in the name of Jesus Christ. Let the left hand receive it, we pray. Those who are going through other problems and difficulties, Father, miraculous healing, give it all to them. Those who are suffering from hemorrhoids, piles, in the name of Jesus Christ, be healed. For children who have no hunger, in the name of Jesus Christ, let there be a proper digestion for children and let them start feeling hungry. Hallelujah. Those who are suffering from allergy, we pray for them in the name of Jesus Christ. Let there be a complete healing. 
in the name of Jesus Christ, that healing prevail. Those who are going through other problems and difficulties, Father, we give everyone into thy hands and pray. Father, this morning, you heal them, you deliver them, give them good health, you comfort them, Lord, to see your works and rejoice over it. Help us, O oh Father. Father, for those who don't have job, we pray for them. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, you are children. This morning, let them receive the appointment letter. Let them receive interview calls on this July 5th. Father, let miracle happen in their life to hear the good news that they have received a job. Father, we thank you. Father, we pray for children who are doing in business. Let there be a prosperity in their businesses. Also, we bless those who are working. Father, in their workplace, let them be uplifted. Let them receive promotion. Let them receive increment. Father, fill them with all your good things. Today, every home that are hearing this voice, let them be filled with your presence. God's peace, let it overflow over there. We pray in the name of Jesus Christ. God's presence, God's peace onto every home that are hearing this voice today. In the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we bless them. Let everyone look at them and say that they are blessed in the name of Jesus Father, everyone who is ministering thy, for thy kingdom, men and women, oh Father, all over in the world. Father, thank you for you are protecting them. Father, thank you also for blessing all our meetings. Thank you, Daddy, for hearing our prayer. We give you all the glory. In Jesus' mighty and matchless name, we make this prayer. Amen, amen, amen. Let the Lord bless each one of you abundantly this morning. And let the Lord use you mightily and powerfully for his kingdom in these coming days. Hallelujah. Today further, we are going to meditate from the book of 1st Timothy chapter 1 verse 17. 1st Timothy 1 17. Now to the king eternal, immortal, invisible to God who alone is wise, be honor and glory forever and ever. Amen. About our God is being said over here to now to the king eternal. Our God is a king who lives forever. He is eternal forever. Immortal, only one God and that is Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Everyone lift your hand and say, my God is an eternal God. Once again say, my God is an eternal God. That is why in Psalms 91 it says, He who dwells in the secret place of the Most High. Hallelujah. Who is our God? The Most High. There is no other place above that. So who is our Lord? The Most High. The Eternal God. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you Jesus for your word. Like we say, in the army or in the military, the Most Highest Post or in the Kingdom. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. There is no one else ruling above that. In that same manner, before our God, there is no one else. He is an eternal God. The overpower is in him. The power is in him. Lift your hand and give God the glory. For man, there is a limitation for everything. In the resources he has, there is a limitation. His time, there is limitations. There are many other things that limits a man. Their strength limits them or their contacts limits a man. Many things man is limited to. How much of authority or power that man has, but still he is limited. By health he is limited. By wisdom he is limited. By time he is limited. Hallelujah. By resources he is limited. There are so many things that a man is limited to. But our God has no limitations. He has no borders. Everyone together say, my God has no boundaries, no limitations. No one can limit him also. Hallelujah. That is why he is called as a God eternal, King eternal. So let us lift our hands and say, our God has got no limitations, boundaries or borders. So who is our God? He is an eternal God. Mm. Hallelujah. So what is mm. his will? What is his will? That is what he does. He will do as per his will. He will do whatever he likes when he likes it. Hallelujah. That is the uniqueness of the one who is eternal. He can do what he likes, when he likes and whatever he likes. 
Hallelujah. When he divided the Red Sea, he just said to Moses, stretch out the rod that is in your hand. And by a great mighty wing, he divided the Red Sea. But when it came to Joshua, how did, how was the Jordan River divided? When the people who were holding the ark stepped onto River Jordan, it got divided. So how he likes, he will do. At what time he likes, he will do. There is no night. There is no morning. There is no specific time. There is no specific way of doing. How he likes, he will do. That is our God eternal. So dear children of God, our God is a God eternal. So he does not lack doing miracles in your life. To make your miracles fast, our Lord can do it. Your future, He can control your yesterdays. The failures of yesterday to make it a blessing for you today. The failures to make it a blessing for you today, our Lord can do it. Hallelujah. He can control your yesterday. He can control your tomorrow. And He can control your future. Hallelujah. How much ever bad past you had, but to turn out for you, that for your good, our God can do it. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. To make everything for your good, to make everything for a blessing for you, our God can do it. So our God is an eternal God. Say that again. Our God is an eternal God. He's got authority over everything. So this God, we are worshipping Him. You who is serving Him, children of God, for you to lack anything, this God will not allow we who are serving this God, never will we be put to shame. He will not allow that. This eternal God, we are His children and to live in this world for this great privilege. Thank you, Lord. In between, say, Abba, thank you for you are an eternal God. To be your son, to be your daughter for this great privilege, I tell you, thank you, Lord, for making me to be partakers of your kingdom, of your king eternal. Thank you, Daddy. Hallelujah. That eternal God. The one who heals diseases, he's got authority over everything. Anything he will do for us, for you, he will control nature. If for you, he want to heal you, he will heal you. If he want to change laws for you, he will change the law for you. People, he will change people for you. So today, that eternal God, worship him. Like how in the Timothy it says, Immortal, invisible to God, who alone is wise, be honor and glory forever and ever. We to be born as sons and daughters of that King Eternal, rejoicingly, in complete faith, depending on him completely, live in this world and your life would be supernatural. And let the Lord bless you. In the name of Jesus Christ, our children will prophesy. Our young men shall see visions and the old men shall dream dreams. We are blessed. We are really blessed. We are permanently blessed and highly favored. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you today. Hallelujah.